Hello, my name is Bobby Bear, and I'm part of iXL's Professional Learning Services team. In this microlearning, I'll share with you how our iXL science content can beautifully support inquiry-based learning in your classroom. When we think about inquiry-based learning, we think of it falling into three different types of learning. Project-based learning, where students are completing a specific task that results in a realistic project or presentation. Problem-based learning, where students are really putting their critical thinking skills to the test in order to solve a problem. And also learning by design, where students are producing an artifact to display their learning. And by creating that artifact, the main goal is to provoke revision, repetition, in order to truly prepare themselves for college and career readiness and collaboration. The well-known educational researcher John Hattie has said, if you don't teach the surface and the content, you've got nothing to inquire about. Most teachers introduce it, inquiry-based learning in this case, far too early. And I excel, we believe that what Hattie is saying is actually very true. And so something to consider is, how can your instruction coupled with iXL practice, build the foundation that's required for successful inquiry-based learning in your science classroom or in any classroom. Let's discuss a possible scenario in a seventh grade science classroom. Let's say it's the beginning of the school year and you're about to engage your seventh grade science students on a unit on the scientific method that will manifest itself in some kind of project-based enterprise. Certainly, your instruction plays a key piece of this, and we never at IXL aim to replace the role of the teacher. The teacher, through their instruction, is going to activate prior knowledge, generate all kinds of interest and excitement about the scientific method, and also show a, a sense of relevance through relatability of the scientific method. They'll provide students with that scaffolding involving key vocabulary, providing visuals and images, and all kinds of different real world scenarios and examples where the scientific method comes into play. Following that critical instruction, now insert IXL to do that check for understanding. You'll notice that our seventh grade Q.1 skill practice is a beautiful opportunity for diving into the scientific method, but also engaging the informational text. So what you might assign to your students is seventh grade Q.1 and have them complete stages one and two of that specific skill practice. Certainly, a fundamental part of successful IXL implementation is checking to see who met that goal or maybe who didn't meet that assignment goal via our teacher analytics. I'll show you that in the skills area of analytics, specifically the skill diagnostics, we will show you a variety of different item types at stage one and stage two or level one and level two and students' names. If I see that I have a population of students who were able to make it to that specific goal that I set, level two or stage two, then I know that those students are ready to press on and tackle that final stage of that scientific method skill practice. They'll tackle stage three. But notice, if I have a population of students still working in level one, they were not able to complete that assignment goal. Therefore, I'm gonna pull that group of students into small group instruction. I'm gonna reteach the critical vocabulary and concepts of the skill. I'm gonna model and do some guided practice with students. And then once I detect that confidence is there, I will then reassign them that Q.1 skill practice. The simple fact of the matter is that we believe that through your instruction, iXL skill practice, and also your effective use of iXL's teacher analytics, you are successfully building the foundation that's needed in order to have students engage in effective, collaborative inquiry-based learning, whether that is problem, project-based learning, or learning by design. For additional support involving effective use of our science content, never hesitate to reach out to the Professional Learning Services team at pd.ixl.com.